Hi there, and here we are in the timeless town of Soyer. Now, before we get started, I know what you're all thinking. Nobody wears coats in Mallorca. Well, actually, we're in the middle of December. And the Christmas decorations are up. I've got the Christmas tree behind me. I've got Christmas carols in the background, if you can't hear them already. And it's actually my favorite time of year. It's a little bit nippy. It's about 15 degrees, so we can deal with it. Um, but it is my favorite time of year. And so we thought we would take advantage of this time. It's a little bit quieter and really just show you what Soya is all about. We're gonna take you on a little tour around. We'll have a walk around the streets, show you the valley, hop on the tram to go to Port Soya. I'm really looking forward to the day and I'm really looking forward to bringing you all along with us. So this is one of those traditional uh, Soya streets. You've got the cobbled stones, really tall buildings, typically at least around four, sometimes even five stories high. So you can see that really tall, very narrow, but it just adds to all of that charm. And actually this street, which is a really, really pretty street, is just off the main, I guess you would call it the high street, but it's just basically like a pedestrianized passageway, which has lots of little kind of local artisan uh, boutique shops. You've got clothes shops, fruit and veg shops. It's a really, really cute, um, cute street. Actually, we've just noticed that um, they've done some like little kind of um, eco-friendly decorations which you can see up here where they've cut these little plastic bottles up instead of buying new decorations but that I think is really really cute um, it's a really really lovely look So here we are, high up, we thought we would bring you out of the streets of Soya and take you to this fantastic location which gives you an incredible bird's eye view of Soya. Historically, the only way to reach Soya Valley uh, by vehicle was along the coastal road that runs along the west coast. Today, we've got a tunnel that runs through the mountains which means that it's really well connected with the rest of the island. But despite being well connected, when you come out of the tunnel and enter the Valley of Soya, you get, still get this feeling, like a sense of being transported uh, into another world. It almost feels like a little hidden gem on the other side of the mountains. You can even catch the, the old train that runs from Palma through to Soya, which feels like you've almost been stepped back into another century as it kind of takes you on a journey through the famous Orange Valley and the olive groves and then you eventually reach Soya and then you can hop from one tram to another one which takes you from Soya through to, to Port Soya. Going through the famous Orange Valley and the olive groves it really is a special treat and it's something that's really lovely to do if you've ever got friends, family visiting. So now we're in Port Soya, which is about five minute drive from the Soya Valley. And you have two sides to Port Soya. You've got the Esra Peak side and the port side. So at the moment we're on the port side, which is 
Actually, Port Sawyer was just once an old fishing village um, and in the 19th century it began to expand uh, because it became a really popular point for fruit exportation. So they used to export a lot of, um, of the oranges that used to grow in, well, that grow in the Sawyer Orange Valley and they used to use it, it became a really, really popular port for that. And Sawyer, or Port Sawyer's location, actually luckily missed that mass, uh, mass development, mass tourism that came in the 90s, early 90s. So it was kind of been really lucky in that, it kind of missed all of that. So it's not as developed as other areas are, and now finding a plot to build on is just very, very difficult. They're just kind of restoring what's already there and making what's already there like pretty spectacular. We've actually got a home that we rent out uh, along the port right on the front line which is just over here that little tower there that you can see in the middle um, it's called La Sophie really spectacular rental um, house and we've got another one on the other side of the port by the fishing village right at the top of the hill over there and that one is called La Miranda like probably one of the most spectacular rental houses that we've got. The views are absolutely sensational. And as I said before, we're in December. It's the 13th of December and look at the weather. It's incredible. We're actually already sweating. I've got my sunglasses on because the sun is just so strong coming in here. And this is actually a typical sort of day in December, you know, really calm, no winds. The sun is out, complete blue sky and it's fantastic. I don't actually even need this coat anymore. Even behind me, you've got locals in the bikinis, on the beach, going for a walk, walking the dogs, because actually in the off season, you can walk your dogs on the beach, whereas in the summer, they prohibit it. But in the winter, you know, because the beaches aren't actually being used that much, they allow you to come, walk your dog. So it's really lovely for that. I have a dog and it's fantastic. Here we are at Port Sawyer, the port side of Port Sawyer, which actually reminds me of one of my favorite things to do. I mean, it's definitely up there on like top three things to do on the island in Mallorca is take a boat out with friends or family and head along the west coast. Uh, you can either head south uh, and stop at Cala de Ya and have lunch at the Caspatro Mash restaurant. Um, incredibly, yeah, they do incredible fish dishes. Or you can head a little bit further south and stop at the Saforadada restaurant, which is possibly one of the most magical spots you'll ever have lunch in. Uh, very rustic, um, nothing fancy, but absolutely spectacular. Or you can head north up the coast and stop at Sacalobra. Equally, they've got another restaurant there, which is equally spectacular. Um, and then head back. Um, if you get back in time, you can catch the fishermen come in um, and you can get some soya prawns from the, from the fishermen, direct from them, which is fantastic to be able to do. Pop them on the barbecue when you get home. That, to me, is a perfect day. We're going to conclude today. I uh, hope you enjoyed our journey through Sawyer in this beautiful December day. And I think we're going to tie the day up with a little bit of a Kenya with the cameraman. Hector, what do you think? Yes, <laughs> I love it. Yes, let's go. Yeah.